Hello and welcome to Storytime with Lukey. Today we're going to see what's on the story agenda. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. I thought this day wouldn't come. But it's here. I don't know where to begin. This is such a. Uh, I never thought I would. Never thought I would release this. This story to the internet for the whole world to see. Dang it. Where do I begin? I was a child. I was just a young lad. Somewhere between eight and ten, I guess. I can't remember that well. The only place I, be I can begin is the beginning. Duh. It all started when I came home one day. In my one bathroom house. One bathroom. With a sibling. And two parents. And it just so happened when I walked to the door and had to use the bathroom. My elder sister was using the bathroom. This is when we were young. A time before, before technology, before, before human rights. <laughs> this was a time when no matter what, if I had to poop, I had to poop. This is a serious story. This is, this is a cry for help. I just want, I just hope nobody else has to go through this. So, I walk through my, I, I walk through my house. I waddle, I wa I'm waddling to the, to the bathroom that we have. Just to knock on the door and it be locked. And I said, sis, I gotta poop. And she said, well, too bad, I am. And that's when I realized I had to poop worse. I was mud dogging. I was turtle heading. And I said that. I said, sis, I'm turtle heading. I, I gotta poop. And she looks at me. By this time, I'd made it into the, to the restroom. I was begging and pleading. She thought it was funny. Because we were just kids. We were just kids, dang it. She thought it was funny to say, prove it to a little boy, as if she didn't believe me already. So I had, I had to do what any seven-year-old, eight-year-old boy would do. I dropped my pants. What? <laughs> tried to, tried to stop the mud dog. But oh, this mud dog wasn't stopping. This mud dog was a fire truck at a red light, and it ran straight out from my anal cavity. <laughs> Smacked the floor. I proceeded to lay down, not in the poop, and cry, because I knew I had just pooped in the floor. <laughs> I pooped in the floor, trying to prove a point. So if you can learn anything from me, is to not drop your pants and show someone that you're mud dogging or turtle heading. Because you will poop in the floor and you will be humiliated in front of your entire family. I think about that story very often in my life and I think, what could I have done to change the outcome? And it's very simple. I could have just went down the hill to my grandmother's house I could have, I could have waited like a normal human being. But instead I started an argument with my sis, our argument with my sister. Which inevitably led me to pooping in the floor. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that, that is the poop story. Thank you for your time. If you enjoyed the story time, if you enjoyed the story corner with Lukey, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, 
Tell me what you want to hear next. I've got stories upon stories. Learn from my mistakes. Learn from my mistakes, young ones. Don't poop in the floor. Thank you. Peace out, gamers. <laughs>